The thin palatal flap is a split thickness flap which has a dual purposes of thinning out the soft palatal tissue and obtaining its apical repositioning without a possibility at palatal level to use the alveolar mucosa, the vestibular phonics for apical repositioning of the flap with periosteal anchoring suture. So, if you do not thin out the palatal flap, you won't have the opportunity to reposition it apically, and in any case, if it remains thick, even if you do, even if you do gingivectomy to reduce uh, the original thickness of the soft palatal tissue, this will grow back uh, depending on the thickness of the soft tissue. So don't even think about it. In general, the distal wedge distal to the seventh in the lower arch is triangular shaped. This is a, already a compromise. At vestibular level, the horizontal incision continues. At lingual level, instead of making a parallel incision, which would be the same as you do in the upper char arch, you go straight to converge to the most distal point of the vestibular incision.